Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have a health challenge you or a loved one needs help with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program like the one designed by Doc, we can help you. 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. That's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase your favorite Longevity products off of the website, or you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the website as well for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a Longevity business and earn thank you checks associated with spreading the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you've noticed in your life, nutritional supplementation has made a difference. Pay it forward. Help other folks and get paid while you're doing it. Pay it forward and you get paid. And you make your own hours as you do with any entrepreneurial kind of, uh, entrepreneurial kind of uh, project. Enterprise, entrepreneurial enterprise. Of course, you got, if you want to really do well, you got to work more. If you don't want to do as well, if you, you're satisfied making 100 bucks a month or 200 bucks a month, that's great. You can do that too. I'm a big believer in network marketing, and I, I, ever since I've been involved with network marketing since I was in my 20s, I think it's an awesome business model, and it's just a shame that it gets such a bad rap. It's just a shame. And I, you know, I think it has to do with Amway. Amway used to invite people over to their house, have you invite people over to your house, and then, then you'd ambush them. The Am Amway ambush. And somehow network marketing, because of that, network marketing kind of got a bad name. But the fact of the matter is it's a great way to make money. It's a great way to be an entrepreneur. It's a great way to participate in the entrepreneurial lifestyle for just a small little $25 investment. If you really want to get going, it maybe cost you about three or four hundred dollars, maybe five hundred dollars to really get going. There's no business where you can just get into for five hundred dollars. Cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars to start a business. Anyway, if you're interested, call 866-735-2470 or sign up off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. So we have been talking about the nature of stimulation and its relationship to health. Stimulation within a context of rest is the essence of health. Stimulation within a context of rest. That means we're mostly at a rest state, neurochemically, biochemically speaking, and periodically we get bursts of stress. That's how the body likes to build itself. It doesn't like drip, drip, drip stress. It, like, it likes bursts of stress followed by long, luscious rest. Recovery is in the rest. And it's this balance, this, I don't even want to say balance, it's this yin and yang, this stimulation followed by rest, followed by stimulation, followed by rest, that accounts for maximum growth. Disease always involves some level of stagnation. There's some element of clogging, some element of a lack of dynamism, some element of a lack of stimulation. Things just slow down 
when we get sick. Even cancer, which seems like it is the ultimate anti-stagnation health challenge. After all, things are moving really fast. Things are growing and dividing. Cells, that is, are growing and dividing really fast. Even cancer, which apparently, from all evidence, is anti-stagnation, is actually initiated at the very beginning stages when a cell no longer has the energy it needs to be dynamic. Cancer is a response. Cancer is a verb, first of all, and it is a, a way of operating, a way that a cell operates that's in response to long-term stagnation. It's as if the cells have discovered a way to cope with an energy deficit, and this uh, way of coping with an energy deficit requires them to divide rapidly, like a bacteria. Bacteria are very inefficient uh, uh, energy processors compared to other cells. There's two kinds of cells. You've got bacterial cells and you've got other, all the other cells. And bacterial cells are primitive cells and they don't process energy very efficiently. That's why they have to divide so fast. That's why a bacterial cell divides like crazy. Well, guess what? Cancer is very much like a bacterial cell. It's as if the cell has gone back from this very advanced, high-tech way of processing energy, which represents our cells, human cells, animal cells, even plant cells, and it's uh, gone backwards into a primitive way of being where it just divides like crazy because it's coping with this energy deficit. It's a coping mechanism, and it's not a noun. It's a verb. It's a way of living. It's a way of being for a cell. It's a way the cells grow. It's a way the cells divide. It's a way the cells move. It's a way a cell processes food. It, it, it cancer is uh, it's cancering. A cell is cancering. It has to do with how a, proce how a cell processes energy, and it all starts with stagnation. We call it a noun. We refer to the, the term cancer as a noun just for convenience, but it's really an activity. And that therein lies our power to deal with cancer. An activity can always be ceased. An activity can always be reversed. If it's a noun, you can't reverse a noun. A noun is just there. When you make something into a noun, into a thing, it's not reversible. It's just a thing. That's why doctors say you can't cure a disease, because you can't cure a noun. <laughs> That's why you can't treat a noun. You can't do anything with a noun except maybe carve it up and shape it and morph it a little bit. But if it's a verb, you just got to figure out what the cause of the verb is, what's stimulating the verb, what's stimulating the action, and then stop doing it, basically. It could be lack of nutrition. It could be, it's, it always involves something not getting into the system and something getting into the system. The wrong stuff is getting in, the right stuff isn't. That's basically it. This lack of activity, the stagnation element behind all diseases is the common factor that needs to be addressed if we are less than healthy. That's why deep breathing is so important. That's why moving your body is so important. Lymphatic circulation, the circulatory system itself, all disease is cell disease, and cell stagnation is what really what we're talking about, but all cell disease is preceded by dirty blood, and that's where the lack of energy comes from, the dirty blood. It's all dirty blood. How does the blood get dirty? The digestive system. If you got a health challenge, almost by definition, long-term that is, almost by definition, there's something messed up at the level of the gut, almost by definition, pretty much. That's how, that's what it is. I got a note today from a gal who says she's got dry lips. Uh, I, I've been using omega cream on my, on my lips. I feel my lips are even dry, more dry. Why is that? My diet is pretty healthy and I drink uh, plenty of water. Listen, if you got dry lips, you got something not getting in or something getting in, period. Always, if you have any health challenge, you can't say my diet is pretty healthy. What does that even mean, my diet is pretty healthy? I can't tell you how many times I've heard people tell me this. I eat pretty well. I eat healthy. I eat really well. What does that even mean? If you have a health challenge, it's not, a, you know, it's not like you're a bad person. It's not like this is an attack. It's like that's your point of power. If you say I eat pretty healthy, what are you going to do? How are you going to change? I eat pretty healthy. First of all, what is pretty healthy? Second of all, if you're already locked into pretty healthy, I eat pretty healthy, where are you going to change? All right, 844 is our number. We'll finish up here, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the skin and what you could do. Continuing on as we're talking about alpha hydroxy acids and stimulation of the skin. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the bright 
Inside, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, the longevity products, our truth treatment products, which you could find at truth. Uh, truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com our truth retinol 5% gel truth omega 6 healing cream truth transdermal sea balm and our truth transdermal sea serum voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar magazine we also have a new product coming out here in probably 2 or 3 weeks a poly electrolyte spray using fulvic acid which is a really cool substance Fulvites are highly electrically charged minerals, like plant-derived minerals, similar. They are plant-derived, actually. In fact, they are. You could call them plant-derived minerals. They're found in the soil, and they're the result of plant action on minerals in combination with microbes. The soil is rich with all kinds of electrical elements, and it turns out that these electrical elements that are are in the soil have tremendous health benefits. Clays and plant colloidal minerals, as we talk about all the time, as Doc Doc, Doc discovered, or at least was one of the first guys to really promote. Plant-derived electrical minerals can also have wonderful topical benefits as well. And our biomimetic priming mist, which will be out here, hopefully in the next two or three weeks, is going to feature Fulvites, fulvic minerals. So we'll be uh, talking about that more in the coming days. Truthtreatments.com if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products. Truth, uh, truth, treat- we, truthtreatments.com or Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal Sea Balm, Truth Transdermal Sea Serum, and soon our Truth Biomimetic Priming Mist with fulvic minerals as well as high hyaluronic acid and lactates and amino acids as well. All right. So we're talking about the nature of stimulating and how stimulation is important for health. This act, this uh, lack of activity, I should say, the stagnation element is behind all disease. It's what we need to address if we're less than healthy, regardless of our diagnosis. Your diagnosis doesn't matter. I want that on my tombstone. That's what I want everybody to remember about Pharmacist Ben when I pass on. Your diagnosis doesn't matter. It is a scam. Okay, it didn't start off as a scam. It actually started off, diagnosis actually started off as part of the scientific method in the Enlightenment. Before diagnosis, they didn't really have, they didn't really consider health challenges to be based in some kind of breakdown in the body. They considered it to be evil spirits or little elves that shot arrows at you. Literally, that's what they thought. They thought it was just, just bizarre, these bizarre external and things like fogs and evil, evil spirits in the air that cause disease. Then came the scientific method and the enlightenment, and they, that's when they came up with dis, uh, di, the whole science of diagnosis, which, by the way, is called nosology, N-O-S-O-L-O-G-Y, the science of diagnosis. And it represented a major advance in medicine. It was great compared to, you know, little elves that shot arrows at you. The problem with diagnosis is we become a slave to the diagnosis and we've created an economic model out of of health. Healthcare has become an economic enterprise, an economic model that needs diagnosis so that it can make money, so it can categorize us and can put us in classes and have classes of drugs and have specialists. There are no special diseases. We don't need specialists because underneath all the different diagnoses, you find the same things. It's hidden in plain sight. Albert St. George, he said, uh, genius is seeing, is uh, seeing something there. Di- oh, shoot. I forgot what he's, how he said it. I got to remember. But it's basically seeing something differently that everybody's, that, that we're all looking at. Thinking differently about th- things that everybody sees. That's basically what he said. And that's how we got to rethink how we see diseases. Stop looking at the diagnosis. We got to look underneath at the symptomologies, at the things that are going wrong. And underneath, you're going to find the same things. Underneath all diagnosis, you find the same basic cellular breakdown. Cells are not processing energy. They're not doing their business. It doesn't matter if you call it multiple sclerosis and it's in the nerves or Alzheimer's disease in the brain or arthritis and it's in the joints or heart disease that's in the heart. It doesn't matter where the disease is. At the cellular level, which is where the disease is taking place, not at the organ level, a cell's just not doing its business. It's not processing energy. And then protection kicks in. This is all disease. There's somehow a deficit in energy at the level of the cell, and then the protection, protective system kicks in. The protect, protective system is inflammation. Protection is like a potato bug. Those little bugs that you poke and things curl up, the, the little thing curls up. 
that's a, I think it's called a potato bug. You poke it, it curls up into a ball. That's basically what's happening in the body when uh, cells lack energy. Protection and inflammation kick in, and that's all disease. You've got a lack of energy at the cellular level, uh, energy deficit. It's not cell is not processing energy, and protection kicks in, inflammation. And then once that protection kicks in, it feeds back around, and cells once again cannot get their energy because the inflammation blocks energy processing. Inflammation is a stagnation, a slowing down, and it blocks energy processing, and that's the disease circle right there, the circle of disease. We've got a triangle disease, now we have a circle of disease at, cell, at the cellular level. Cells, uh, cells don't process, this, process energy correctly. That leads to an energy deficit, and then protection kicks in. The protection causes more of an energy deficit, which then leads to more protection, which leads to more energy deficit. That's called a vicious circle, the vicious circle of disease. So you've got the triangle of disease, and you've got the vicious circle of disease at the level of the cell. It's true about all illness. And understanding this is where the fourfold square of health comes in. If there's a triangle of disease and a circle of disease now, there's also a fourfold square of health. Nutriate, respirate, move, and rest. Nutriate, respirate, move, and rest. You put uh, nutrients into the system, mighty 90 essential nutrients. You put oxygen into the system so that the body can use the mighty 90 essential nutrients. You move the body so you can stimulate the body to use the uh, mighty 90 essential nutrients. And you rest so the body has, uh, it can uh, uh, res uh, allocate resources to growth, to healing. Fourfold square of health. In terms of the skin, which we've been talking about here now for a while, stimulation of the skin can improve the prognosis or improve the, the condition slow the progression down of the classic manifestation of stagnation, the classic manifestation of stagnation that we all are terrified of, and it's not disease, and it's not cancer. The classic manifestation of stagnation that we are all terrified of is called aging. And by stimulating the system, by putting energy into the system, we can slow down the aging process as long as we're nutriating and oxygenating and resting with it. And that's true of the skin. That's how you fight wrinkles. That's what we've been talking about here. I call it exfoliation, I call it appeals, but really what we're talking about is putting energy into the skin. That's what exfoliation is. Yes, you can see it visibly as exfolia, where the leaves of the skin are falling off, where the skin cells are dropping off, and that stimulates everything, but really what's happening is you're putting energy into the skin. Now, you can put energy into the skin by just mechanically shaking things up, and that's, you know, microderm abrasion and washcloth and dry brush. That will put energy into the skin mechanically, but you can also put energy into the skin chemically. That's what an acid is. An acid puts energy into the skin. Acid is like a fountain of energy. Alkaline, on the other hand, is like a vacuum of energy. Inside the body, you want a vacuum of energy, a vacuum in the blood. That way, nutrients can get pulled, or energy can get pulled out of food. On the skin, on the other hand, by putting acid, by putting a fountain of energy, you can, you can uh, do an energy transfer. You can, the energy that you're putting into the skin will actually get transferred to the cells and improve their way of being, improve their health, make them better, healthier, more vibrant, more youthful skin cells. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-1610 is our number. We'll be back. Fate. Okay, we are back on the bright side, 844-236-1610 is our number, and we have lines open for you at 844-236-1610. If you have questions about the longevity products or health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, 844-236-1610. If you have questions about our truth treatment products or skin health questions, I've been in the skin business now for 35 years, since 1993. Hmm. Oh my God, since 1983, I've been in the skin care business. At least as a student, that's how I started. And I've learned a lot about the skin. And one of the most important things I've learned about the skin is that nobody knows anything about it, at least in terms of uh, the products that we use. Nobody has any idea how to treat their skin correctly. I shouldn't say nobody, but very few people have. Uh, know how to treat their skin correctly. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in just a sec. From Nature Neuroscience, the Journal of Nature Neuroscience, research from the University of Pennsylvania, epigenetic landscape is protective in normal aging and it's impaired in Alzheimer's disease. Interesting. 
epigenetic landscape means the stuff that is signaling to the genes what to do. It's not the genes, it's the epigenetics. Epigenetics typically, at least the way we understand it here in, on the bright side when we talk about nutrition, involves nutritional status, but lots of things have epigenetic properties. Anything, the reason lots of things have epigenetic properties, this is so important what I'm going to say here now for anybody who believes in this genetic hypothesis, the, the idea that genes control everything. The idea that there are things that are epigenetic tells us that the genes are responsive to the environment. The genes are reading the environment. They're turning on and off based on what the cell is doing, where the cell is. The genes are intelligent. They, there's a, a vast library of genes and it's as if the cell selects which books it wants to read based on what the environment is telling it. Under conditions of nutritional deficiency, a certain set of books will get pulled out of the genetic material and read, so to speak. And under conditions of nutritional abundance, another set of genes, another set of books will get pulled out of the genome library to be read. And this is why having your organs cut off, your breasts cut off, because you have a certain gene is ludicrous. Because the genes turn on and off based on the environment that the cell is sitting in. I first, I first learned about epigenetics in, uh, in, in, uh, when I was in pharmacy school, but... I really hit home for me when I read The Biology of Belief by Dr. Bruce Lipton almost 20, probably 15 or 16 years ago. If you want to read about, uh, in a simple way, about why epigenetics is the way the body works, and it's not genetics that we need to be working with, but epigenetics, read The Biology of Belief by Dr. Bruce Lipton. It's super easy to read. And it, if you have any genetic health challenges, or if you're even just interested in this kind of stuff, it'll change your life. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Lisa in Michigan. Good morning, Lisa. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, thank you. Um, hey. I just heard Dr. Wallach in a post last night. I oh, yeah. <laughs> was he good? I didn't get to, uh, I fell asleep. I didn't, go yeah, ahead. I'm sure you did with your morning show. I didn't, I didn't know you had this show until you mentioned it on post, so I'm, oh, I'm glad you did. Oh, good, um, good. How long have you been so, listening? Um, how, how long have you been listening, Lisa? Lisa? To your show? Yeah. To this show? I I just found out about it Friday. Or we, oh, okay. You had mentioned it, and, and then I kind of had um, the, um, the doctors are saying that I have poly, my, uh, polymyalgia rheumatica, PMR. Blah, blah, and, blah, blah, polymyalgia. Yes, yes. You know, and, you, um, <laughs> yes, I agree. And um, the pain is so intense. I, uh, of course, it's terrible. It's an awful thing. Polymyalgia rheumatica. Let's take. Let's break that apart. You know, I'm a wordsmith. I like words. I'm very fascinated yeah. with language and words. So let's break it apart. Our power comes in language a lot of times. Polymyalgia, right? What does that mean? Uh, alga many, means many muscles. Yeah, many muscle, but alga. What's the operative word? Alga. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alga. What does alga mean? Pain, right? Many muscle pain. Polymyalgia. You got muscle pain and many. You have pain in many of your muscles. What does rheumatica mean? Well, um, Rheuma. Uh, I'll give you a clue. Not, I'll, I'll give you a clue. In not, Latin, I'll give you a clue here. In Latin, rheuma means river. So, what do you think rheumatica means? Oh. Or flow? It means actually. Rheumatica means flow. Rheuma means flow. In the, in the, You're not in flowing. Flow food, it's in. Right. It's in the flow. What's flowing? The blood. It tells you yeah. right there the stupidity of diagnosis is, is exemplified by poly, the words, the term polymyalgia rheumatica. So you go in there and you tell him, oh, I got a lot of pain. He says, oh, you have polymyalgia. Oh, it's, it's, it's probably located in the, in the blood flow somewhere. Oh, it's polymyalgia rheumatica. Oh, because I'm smart. I went to school for eight years and I have a degree. So I, I, I don't say you have muscle pain. Your, pain. your whole body feels like agony. I say you have polymyalgia rheumatica, and that allows me to go to the book and pull out the drugs for polymyalgia rheumatica. Or uh, go back in my memory to what the salesman for the drug company who's selling the drug for poly polymyalgia rheumatica told me, or what the professor told me about polymyalgia rheumatica. It doesn't matter. Your body is just, your body's deteriorating, and it's causing pain. 
When the body deteriorates, nerves, nerves start signaling like crazy. When the body deteriorates, it's releasing all kinds of toxic elements and enzymes and, and, and acids, and the nerves get on fire. So why is the body deteriorating? That's all you need to know, period. And you don't need a, any medical professional to tell you anything about it. Then they can't. They can't do anything about it. But it doesn't matter because you could take care of it yourself. So how does the key, the key, for you, the most relevant part of polymyalgia rheumatica is the polymyalgia part. But for treating it, it's the rheumatica. The rheumatica means the blood flow. You've got to treat the blood. You have a blood disease. You have blood toxicity. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's a simple. And the pain, the pain is incredible. And it, I can only I imagine. I can only imagine. I mean, your body's dissolving. Lisa, your body is turning into a puddle. It's dissolving. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, your body, absolutely. your your structural system is dissolving. So, and it's secondary to dirty blood. Why would it be secondary? Why would it be following dirty blood? Because the blood is not is number one toxic, and number two, it's not delivering its oxygen and nutrients. It's as simple as that. You're not getting yeah. ox, you're not getting oxygen and nutrients to the blood or, or to the cells. And toxins are accumulating around the cells, so the cells die, and then you dissolve because you're just a bunch of cells. So we got to reverse that. How do we reverse that? Did you understand the mechanism there? That's not as important as how oh, we reverse it. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. So now, did did it sound complicated? Like you need a doctor to tell you about the molecular mechanisms and all the pharmacology that you need to to address to use it, and what you can do about it, and the biologics and that you have to buy and have injected, and you don't need any of that stuff. Work on your gut, number one. And don't tell me yeah. you don't have any digestive health issues. I don't want to hear it. Oh, you yes, do. You. Okay. All right. <laughs> don't tell me I eat healthy, <laughs> but I eat really healthy. Okay. Well, at least you know no, that. No, okay. I don't. All right. And I do, All right. I do use longevity already. And Good. I just, but we got to get that gut so, taken care of. If, if you fast for two days, you're going to feel like you, you won't believe what it will do for you if you fast for two or three days. Three days for you. You're gonna, it's going to change your life. For the first time mm -hmm. in years, maybe, you will not have pain and when you fast for three days. Now, you'll, you might have a little hump to get, get, get over uh, when, you, you know, when you start your fast, but if you can persist, maybe do a swear OV cleanse, you will feel for the mm -hmm. first time pain-free, or at least, I don't want to say pain-free, but you'll have a dramatic reduction of your pain in three days. Does that sound good? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so hang on, because we'll finish up when we come back from our break, okay? All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. We are back on The Bright Side talking to Lisa in Michigan, polymyalgia, rheumatica. I got a bunch of calls here, Lisa, so I'm going to go real fast, okay? Number one, uh, you got to work on the digestive system. And by the way, in case somebody, you go to some naturopath or alternative practitioner and they say oh you have yeast of course you have yeast or if they say oh you have hypothyroidism your thyroid is messed up of course your thyroid is messed up so don't pay any attention to any even alternative or uh, naturopathic recommendations that don't focus on the foundation which is your digestive system and your blood sugar system and then your stress system those are the three systems you need to address. Uh, fast for two or three days or do a swear of fee cleanse. Then you're going to do a, an elimination diet and a food diary. That is where you write down everything you eat and you notice which foods cause you digestive distress. It's important that you proceed the elimination diet, food diary with a fast. Otherwise, you're not going to notice things. You with me? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so you're going to notice things more when you after you fast. Your body's going to be much more sensitized to foods that are problematic. I can guarantee you dairy and gluten are, and grains are going to be involved. Not just gluten, but grains are going to be involved. Probably seeds, soy, legumes. You, it's, it's usually going to be something you love, unfortunately. But the good news is, is you're going to feel a lot better when you eliminate it. Then you're going to use supplements for the digestive system, especially the nightly essence probiotics. I would be using the ultimate enzymes with meals as well as on an empty stomach for pain relief. If you take digestive enzymes on an empty stomach, there's pain relief that you get. Uh, then if you have any, uh, not if you, but assume that you have blood sugar problems, go ketogenic if you can. Low calorie, high fat, and uh, a low carbohydrate. Low calorie, high fat, low carbohydrate diet. It's called a ketogenic diet. If not, just as best as you can, reduce both your calories and your sugars. 
both your calories and your sugars. I don't care if it's fruit. I don't care if it's pears or apples. You know, anything that's going to spike your blood sugar, including uh, fruit sugar and fructose, is going to mess you up. So stay away from anything uh, that throws off your sugars. All right, and that includes, by the way, um, flowery sugars, starchy sugars, cereal sugars, and bready sugars. Oh, yeah, that's the word for me. Okay, then you know. Then you know. You already know. And then also uh, the last piece of the puzzle, there's tons more. last piece of the puzzle is going to be to slow your body down uh, in terms of relaxation. Activate that relaxation response. And then, in the, remember, we're talking about X or rest, so you also want to get on a rebounder uh, or run or walk up and down stairs, something to move your lymphatic system. Toxins are drained out from the lymph. And the, I would personally be on the Healthy Star Pack, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You might also want to try the Glucogel Caps and the Ultimate Selenium, but definitely the Healthy Star Pack. I wish I had more time, Lisa, but I want you to know that if you do everything I just told you, you can be a new woman in a month, and you can begin to notice dramatic, I mean dramatic differences in three days. Okay? And I'd love yeah. it if you'd stay in touch with us and let us know how you're doing. All right? I'm going to go. Thank you thank, so much. Thanks so much, Lisa. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. Take care. All right. Uh, Barbara in California, good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi. I, I'm calling about uh, chapped lips. Um, okay. I'm 86 years old. I okay. get out and walk a mile every day. Okay. The weather's been in the 50s, and I've noticed chapped lips this winter for the first time. What do you mean, time. in the 50s? Are you telling me that's cold in the 50s? Well, it's not cold, <laughs> but... Uh, Where are you? For, I'm, I'm in Santa Cruz, California. Oh, you're in Santa Cruz. Have I met you? No, met? I've never no. met you. Okay. But All I right. sure enjoy your show very much. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. Do you ever listen to me on KSCO? Or do you ever listen to KSCO? Yes, that's what I'm listening to you on right now. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I love Santa Cruz. That's my home away from home, Santa Cruz, California. Oh, yeah. Smart it's a people. Place. It's a wonderful place. I know why you live there, except the weather's a little bit not so wonderful. 50 degrees in Santa Cruz <laughs> is like 30 degrees in, in Boulder or Denver. Yeah, so, you're right. <laughs> so, anyway, here's, here's the deal what you got to do is you got to, at, at the age of 86, you're definitely dealing with some fat metabolism issues. So you got to start, number one, taking fat supplements that help you process fats, especially okay. probiotics, good bacteria, oh, digestive. I, I take probiotics every Stick day. with it. Stick with it. Take more. Take uh, okay, also. I take uh, two. I take one oh, in the morning no. and one at night. Oh, sweetheart. Not, you need way more than that. Yeah, I don't know what you're taking, but there's no way you can get enough in two. Look for 50,000, anywhere from 20,000 to 50,000 billion units. In, multi, okay. in, in different strains. Also, things uh -huh. like bile salts, B-I-L-E, bile salts. Also, digestive bile enzymes. Salts. Correct. Digestive enzymes, pancreatin. All of these help your body process fats. Uh, bitters, okay. apples, bitters, apple cider vinegar. I, I, do, do, I, I do drink apple cider vinegar every day in a glass of water. Do it with fats, with your fatty meals. Have, uh, with the have fatty fat meals, huh? Yeah, eggs are fat, fish is fat, um, avocados is fat, olives oh, are those fat. Are all things I eat. <laughs> and, uh, lots of them. Enjoy them and make sure you're using the enzymes with them and the apple cider vinegar with them. Just because you eat okay. a fat doesn't just because you eat a fat doesn't mean you absorb it. So you and, oh, and it's typical. Right. And it's typical. It's not. It's very. You're not unusual, uh, Barbara. It's very typical for us to lose or at least have a reduced ability to process fats as we age. And this accounts for the dry. And this accounts for the dryness. And this also accounts for the thinning of the connective tissue that happens, or at least partially accounts for the thinning of the connective tissue that occurs as we age. Fat has a lot of energy in, in it, and it's important for developing tissue. So making sure you're you're not only eating those kinds of fats, but also uh, using supplements that help you process those fats, and then. And I would personally, okay. in addition to the ultimate enzymes and the nightly essence, I would get on the healthy start pack as well. Just to make sure you're getting your entire mighty 90 essential nutrients. Barbara, I'm okay. gonna, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta motivate here. I got a bunch of calls. If you wanna put something topically on your skin, use my omega-6 healing on your lips. Use the omega-6 okay. healing cream. But it's really an internal omega condition. Omega-6 healing cream, okay. Omega-6 healing cream. All right, thanks so much, okay. Barbara. Take care, have Thank a great you. day. Okay, let's move on to Mark in Illinois. Good morning, Mark. Welcome to the Bright Side. I uh, started this three-day water-only uh, fast, and I took nice. a lot of supplements, and I was wondering, do I take the supplements, or I just water-only? Nah, water? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You can lay off the supplements for three days. It's not going to hurt you. Just keep. It won't hurt you to use the supplements either, you know, if you want to use the supplements. And the supplements, the nutrition that you take will uh, get get uh, diverted into things other than digestion. So that might be a good thing to do, but it's not the it's not the end of the world if you miss three days. Okay, and then okay. And the oxy powder. I did that for the last two nights previous. Which powder? Which powder? Yeah, the, the oxy powder. 
Oxy powder, okay. Do, uh, do I just keep doing that while I'm doing this or what? It, it could go either way. It wouldn't hurt you to do it, but it wouldn't hurt you to not. Oh, okay. Either way, there's no real, you know, the idea of a fast is it has to do with keeping calories out of the system and reducing the digestive system's workload. Supplements don't affect the digestive system's workload much, maybe very slightly. But for the most part, digestive system, uh, when we talk about fasting, we're talking about giving the digestive system a rest from calories, from food, not from supplements. Okay. So go either way. All right, All right okay. Mark? One more question. Yes, sir. What about the ones that say, they say take with food? Don't take those when you're fasting or what? Uh, if they say take with food, it's only to increase the absorption of the supplement. So you may lose a little bit of, of absorption. But on the other hand, you'll also be, uh, you won't have to divert your resources, your nutritional resources to the digestive system because you won't have any food. So like, so like I say, it could go either way. You could do it. Okay. It, it doesn't really matter either way. You, if you lay okay. off three days of supplements, it's not the end of the world. Okay? All right. Thank you very much. All right, Mark. Take care. All right. I get that question a lot. It doesn't really matter. The idea of a fast is to keep calories out of the system. All right, let's go to Stephen in Pennsylvania. Good morning, Stephen. How you doing, buddy? Hi, Ben. Uh, ben, I want to thank you for uh, uh, probably saving so many people's lives just through your, uh, the knowledge that you provide. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That means a lot to me, Steve. Thanks. You know, I think you're, you're probably in the, in the shoes of an uh, assisting mankind like Hippocrates. Oh, you know, dude. Me and Hippocrates. If you were alive today. Hippocr uh, that's awesome. I thank you so much. I appreciate that. So what's, uh, what's going on? I was uh, just that was so interesting what you said about the alkaline uh, uh, acids on the outside. Acid, acids seem to push, and the push. alkaline seems to suck, suck or induce yeah. like a vacuum. Yes, that's why you want the blood alkaline, so it will suck up nutrients out of or electrons, electrical energy out of food. That's why if it's acid, you're not, you, you don't have as much energy because you can't suck. But on the other hand, on the skin, you're pushing energy into the skin. You're driving it. You're, you're activating it. Acids have, are like a fountain, and uh, uh, alkaline is like a vacuum. Thanks for appreciating that, Steve. That's yeah. a very important point. My, my, my understanding of that was the, for every one number in the pH, uh, on the pH scale, uh, you go from like 5 to 6, uh, that's 10 times more oxygen. Correct. That, that fluid can hold 10 times more oxygen. But if you go 5 to 6 to 7, that's 100 times more oxygen yes. capability holding yeah. up. And if you go one more number, it's 1,000 times yes, more oxygen. Yes, yes, yes. And oxygen is a, represents electrons, repre represents electrical energy. So when you're talking about it, it, it holding on to, it's really sucking it up. I, I call it sucking it up. That's what I, I think in my mind's eye. I think of like a vacuum. Steve, we're out of time, buddy. I, uh, I'm one, one more thing. Uh, I, I work with a, uh, a, a ministry that has an organic farm, in their, uh, which they're turning into an organic uh, living site. And if anybody might be interested in uh, communicating uh, to help out there, I'd like to give the phone number out. Sure, give it out real you. quick. So real quick. 570 <laughs> 570-459-2550. Just give a call. We'll Thank you, Steve. And take care, buddy. Good to talk to you. Have a great day. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Join me, George.